Alright, so what is up guys, welcome back to a brand new Black Ops 4 video. Today's video would have been a live commentary gameplay, but unfortunately, I just couldn't get it going, man. It is extremely hard to talk, you know, stay on the topic at hand, as well as delivering a watchable gameplay, something that you guys would expect to see from me. It's a hard thing to do all at once, and you won't understand what it's like until you actually try it, and have something to talk about, and just d discover how hard it is. It's a very hard thing to do. But anyway, I do have a banger gameplay for you guys in this video. It would have been a nuclear, but my teammate just happened to get a quad feed, near the end of the game where I only needed two more kills for my nuclear and he took them all away from me at the end which is really unfortunate and I was quite pissed about that but I think I, I got a 53 KD in this game 53 and 1 I went which is really awesome so let's get into it basically what I'm going to be discussing with you guys here in today's video is all the tips and tricks I have regarding the 1.2 update and helping you guys adjust to what it has bring to the game and for multiplayer that isn't a lot unfortunately uh, we got Reaper from Black Ops 3 we got the Argus we got the Crossbow no M6 16 has been found it's not in reserves at the moment uh, but even if it isn't this game is basically just recycled ops for at the moment honestly they just don't really seem to be able to come up with anything original anymore yeah we're just going to be discussing those tips and tricks i have for you guys and let's get into it so the first one i'm going to be covering is equipment charge now this is you know it's been in the game since the start but what this allows you to do is have your main and secondary specialist abilities recharge faster and this is very very helpful for obviously every specialist but with reaper specifically you are able to use use the uh i think it's called the reaper shroud it's like a little sensor dart thing it basically is the same instead of you know the sensor dart pulsing and showing where the enemies are on the mini map this one just covers uh the map in a certain radius from where you put it and it just totally jams where you are and basically what you can do with this for nuclears is actually you know if you're playing free for all or just in any game mode you're able to place it around you near you and just hold down an area and people will have no clue where you are obviously because the uh, red dots from the enemy's shooting do not show up it's totally hidden uh, for the area that you put it and that's really really great for holding down areas and stuff like that especially if you're playing domination and you know your teammates want to hold a certain side of the map it is very very op to use two reapers on one team and put like uh, a reaper shroud on one side of the map and one on the other side because they have a pretty big radius i'll try and get a screenshot of it i don't know if i'll be able to but basically nuketown is a great example of how op this is if you put one reaper shroud on a car and then on the other car it basically covers the whole map which is pretty insane uh, but yeah using equipment charge is obviously helpful because that recharges quicker and you're able to use it more often as well as the scythe it's an absolute beast i'd recommend you guys trying it out if you haven't already and yeah equipment charge is just great to use especially if you want to go for nukes like i said with the reaper a shroud you can hide the area you're in and hold down a certain area as well it's really really good to use the second thing i'm going to be going on to which actually counters in a way reaper's shroud is the team link perk i was just going to title this whole video team link now has uh, a purpose in black ops 4 but i <gasps> wanted to cover other oh things God. as well team link does actually have a purpose now if you guys aren't aware basically what it does is that it allows you have an outline of your enemies through the wall and if you've got a enemy placing a reaper shroud on the map you're able to still see where your enemies are even though that part of the uh, map is covered you know you can't see the enemy's position on the mini map but having team link does allow you to see them through the wall so that's really really helpful as well uh that's something i found to be very very good in my games and you know everything that i've been playing so team link finally has some sort of you know place in this game i've heard basically no one talk about it it's been a pretty low-key perk until now because yeah it's just super helpful to know where your teammates are now some tips with Reaper's Scythe is to not rush with it as much as you may with Black Ops 3's Scythe. Because the one in Black Ops 3, he kind of like pulls it out of his arm and goes off with it there. It's got a much faster fire rate. This is more of a heavy, heavy firepower uh, turret. He pulls it out the side and holds it and just goes off with it. It's a more of a do 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 rather than a you know, it's like, <laughs> it's a lot slower firing. But at the same time, it's like a two hit, which is absolutely OP and I 100% recommend you guys trying that out but yeah just don't rush with it too much kind of sit back a bit go crazy with it but don't rush with it as much as you may in black ops 3 but yeah i hope you guys found these tips and tricks helpful in this video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to drop a like drop a sub hit that bell to stay updated with all the videos i'll catch you guys in the next one have a great day everybody and i'm out